With the new announcements and trailers of Arlecchino, she quickly became the main talk of the Genshin community. Some players are wondering about her mysterious origins, as well as her weird similarities and connections to many things, such as the godless nation Kanria, the Electro Archon Raiden, and even the abode of the god Celesta. But here's the kicker, you can up your chances of snagging Arlecchino with Loot Bar. It's the go-to spot for snagging Prima Gems or the Welcome Moon, at way better prices than the in-game shop. Plus, with a 5% coupon for the new users of the service, you'll get reaching 20% saving in total. The whole deal is super safe and simple. Just enter your UID and server region. Watch me grab those Genesis Crystals in just two minutes. It's quick as lightning. Loot Bar has a good reputation as it always gets good reviews on the website. Even big shots like Dekaja, Tavit Times, and Jello Impact vouch for it. And hey, newbies looking to buy Prima Gems can score a sweet double up bonus. So, why wait? Head to Loot Bar now links down below and level up your Genshin Impact game. The first thing that I want to discuss is Arlecchino's multiple connections to Kanria, which now turns out to be her true origin, as Piro stated that she's a descendant of the Crimson Moon bloodline. But regardless, we will still analyze more of her various relations with Kanria. One of her most notable ones being in the newly released book Perrin Harry, which Piro himself told Arlecchino to read in order to figure out more about her origins. Meaning that Perrin Harry is a reliable source of information. The story of this book is about an orphanage in Kanria. The main character who's called Perrin Harry was raised in this orphanage. His first memory, when he was young, was of a group of adults, asking him to crawl through a chimney. After reaching its end, Perrin Harry saw an illusion of the crimson moon in the sky, suddenly revealing itself to be a titanic, horrified eye. After seeing this, the adults embraced Perrin Harry and said, You have traversed the fire of two worlds within the hearth, and here, you are reborn. Now obviously this relates to Arlecchino, thanks to the following terms, orphanage, hearth, crimson moon, and fire of two worlds. The orphanage of Kanria paralleling with Arlecchino's orphanage, which is also called the House of the Hearth. The Crimson Moon being heavily associated with Arlecchino, due to it being present in her burst, splash art, and many other things. And finally, the quote, You have traversed the fire of two worlds within the hearth, and here you are reborn. Which parallels with version 4.6 title, Two Worlds Aflame, The Crimson Night Fades. Also parallels with the name of Arlecchino's final form, Cinder of Two Worlds Flames, plus Arlecchino's signature weapon Crimson Moon Semblance, also mentions something about two worlds. This weapon is also somehow hinted to be from Kanria. As you can see, Arlecchino has many connections with Kanria, after all, its national symbol is present on her clothes. As most of us already know, the Fatui Harbingers got their names from the Italian theater, Commedia dell'arte. The name Arlecchino is believed to be inspired from the devil Alecchino from Danny's Inferno. In case you didn't know, there was a reference to Danny's Inferno in Genshin. When you go to the gates of Kanria you get the achievement called, Abandon all hope ye who enter here, which in Danny's Inferno, is inscribed on the gates of hell. Anyways, the character Alecchino doesn't only sound similar to our Arlecchino, but also fought against another demon called Calcabrina at some point in the story, which parallels with how Arlecchino fought against Crusabina, with Calcabrina and Crusabina sounding a lot like each other. Arlecchino herself appears to have some demonic traits, due to her color palette, her horn, wings, abilities, and just overall appearance. Moreover, Arlecchino seems to be related to another demon from demonology, called Abazethabu. Abazethabu was an angel who was later revealed to be a betrayer of heaven, then was defeated in combat and was left with only one red wing, and banished from the heavenly realm. Abazethabu having one red wing parallels with Arlecchino also having one red wing. Now what's interesting is that Abazethabu is a follower of Beelzebub. Could this mean that Arlecchino and Raiden also have some sort of relation? Well yes. They are both associated with the red moon, as well as eye imagery. Speaking of eyes, Arlecchino's wings appear to have something that looks like an eye. The same eye design appears on the cubes of the unknown god, the sustainer of heavenly principles. If we look back again at Arlecchino, and this time we focus on the pose, we can notice that it looks eerily similar to the mysterious figure on the domain mural. As you can see, 
The eye design we analyzed earlier is also present in here. I theorize that this figure is actually the creator of Tevit and Celesta, the primordial one, who is described to have wings and a crown, which is what this figure on the mural also has. We see wings on each side. As for the crown, it's the laurel on top which can be interpreted as a laurel crown. The primordial one is associated with the laurel, as he's shown with it in the hero's journey name card. Thus this mysterious figure is none other than the primordial one. Now, to sum up everything that's stated so far, Arlecchino has connections with Kanria, through the star symbol, Perrin Harry, and Crimson Moon. Then we got demons, like Alakino, the inspiration of Arlecchino and Abazethabu, the one-wing fallen angel. Next, it's Raiden, due to the eyes and moon's imagery, a swell as Abazethabu being a follower of Beelzebub, and finally, Celesta, on account of Abazethabu originating from the heavens. The eyes on the cubes of the sustainer and on the depiction of the primordial one on the mural. We have now reached the end of the video, please consider subscribing and thank you.